right, a lot of parents videotape their goaltenders playing. I'm gonna show you the prime location to put the camera and how you can use video to help your goaltender improve on their weaknesses and refine their strengths. As well today, we're gonna to talk about body language and swagger. We'll talk to you about what they are. Do you do it correctly? Do you have the proper body language? Do you have too much swagger or not enough? In today's episode, we're gonna look at swagger and body language and how crucial it is if you wanna be the best goaltender you can be. All right, when we're talking about camera angles. I used to videotape my goalies way back in the day using camcorders, Super 8, and now with GoPros, everybody's got a chance to have GoPros reasonably priced. I got a suction mount here. I like to have it directly behind the goalie so you can sort of see that type of coverage on either side of the net. And as a goaltending coach, you can see all you need to do about zone entries, reads, off puck reads, and what the goalie's doing. So one of the prime locations I love for placing your GoPro is right here, six, seven feet off the ice, directly behind the net. I've been using it there for the past 25 years and it's worked well. Well, not every arena has this capability that we have here at the old rink in Strathroy, but my prime location, even better than the one behind the net at six feet, would be the one up elevated where we can see a little bit behind the net and basically the zone entries from the blue line in. This is a prime location to be able to get great footage when you're evaluating and trying to fix up your goaltending. Not every rink has it, but for me, this is position A. Position B would be the one directly below us behind the net, six, seven feet off the ice. These two locations, they'll get you all we need to see to really improve your goaltending. Now, let's talk about a couple locations I don't really like. You know, sometimes we don't have a choice. We're not allowed to get behind the nets or up elevated on the second floor. So this is the best we got where we're shooting from the side down near ice level. I don't really like this angle. It doesn't really let us see angles. Um, we do get the depth selection ideas, but as far as how we're playing, as far as being squareness on the angles, not an ideal spot. So let's avoid that one. And life pro tip, turn your microphone off. After 25 years of doing this, I've heard parents say crazy stuff. I had a dad one time say, holy, would you look at the butt on that? And we're not talking about the old dumb and dumber skit. We're talking about reality. So turn the volume off. And another angle I don't really like is basically out near the blue line looking three quarters at the net. It's not ideal. Again, really hard to determine angle play um, and what the shooters are seeing. So let's avoid this area at all costs. And again, even up here, watch what you're saying because that video is going to have audio tracks attached to it. So. Hopefully today this helped with your placement of cameras to help best look at your goaltender's games and how we can make them a better goalie every day through the use of video. All right, Keener. Today I want to talk about emotional intelligence. And we see a lot of goaltenders that struggle with this. A lot of people like to say, it's, oh, I'm so competitive. I just, you know, I, I really care. And I don't think losing your crap is an example of showing you care. And it's manifested a lot of different ways and as scouts, we notice this. We notice body language, we notice swagger. Let's talk about body language. Drop down a butterfly for a second. Let's just imagine you were scored on with a tip goal off your own defenseman's turnover. Show me, if I'm your defenseman, the old palms to the ceiling like it's not your fault. Show me that. Yeah, I get that all the time. Let's see that one more time. They just scored on you. It's the defenseman's fault. Yeah, like, I call that the palms up guy. Head shaking around, acting upset at your teammates. It doesn't solve anything. They don't do that when you let in a bad goal, so don't show up your own teammates. Now, another example of goaltenders is in between saves or whatever, a great example is Mika Kiprasov. He could let in the worst goal in the world or the best save in the world. And afterwards, he just turn around to his net, pop his helmet up, get a quick drink. You'd never know because he didn't have a hangover of the bad goal, overly excited when he made a great save. Now, we all know about goaltenders that lose their crap and break their stick. So, I don't want you two hand in the net with your stick, especially when you got a nice, expensive, true stick. What does that go for? 5.30. 5.30, my goodness. So let's not show any type of emotional outburst when you get scored on, okay?
Our summer camps have filled for over 30 years. Spots are limited, every year it fills. I want you in our summer camp. Here's the difference with Future Pro summer camps. We have real credentials, real value, and real results. We talk about the credentials. This camp is run by school teachers, guys that have played and coached and scouted in the NHL. They've been there, done that. Our credentials are unparalleled. This is the only school you can go to with this level of credentials. At our summer camps, we give you real value. We give you 20 hours of ice time, video analysis, small group student ratio. It's the best in the business. We've been successful for 30 years because we run a great program run by teachers for the best value. Why come to summer camp with Future Pro? Because of the results. If you look, we've got three goalies in the NHL this year, Logan Thompson with Las Vegas, We've got Jack Campbell with Edmonton Oilers, and we got Jeremy Swayman with the Boston Bruins, plus all the kids we have in the OHL, college hockey, and over the last 30 years, our Hall of Fame is pretty immense. You can look into our website and you can see our Hall of Fame. Are you going to be next? We want to see you in our summer camps this year throughout southwestern Ontario. We have camps in London, Strathroy and Godrich. We have many programs that fit your different levels, whether it's developmental level for the entry level kids, advanced level, elite level, and the prospect camp, which is an application only camp available to kids that are on their way, already playing high level AAA, already playing junior, pro, etc. So if you want to find out about any of those levels, reach out to Future Pro now at info at futurepro.com and I'll get back to you right away.